Are you an athlete, an avid gym goer, or somebody who is simply interested in building muscle? Have you ever wondered what gains you might be leaving on the table if you don't drink your protein shake or consume a high protein source immediately after you work out? While it's rather unlikely that many gains will be lost, protein timing is important to optimize muscle growth. So in this video, I'll be talking about what the most up-to-date science shows and the best practices for protein timing. So how much protein should you be getting in? If you're somebody who has specific fitness goals and wants to build muscle, lose body fat and get stronger, you definitely want to prioritize your protein intake every day. Most researchers agree that the optimal protein range is between 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body mass per day. For example, a 200 pound or 91 kilogram male, this would look like 136 to 182 grams per day. Now for a female who's around 135 pounds or 61 kilograms, this would look like 91 grams up to 122 grams per day. So how much protein should I eat during each meal? Now that you have a better idea about the optimal daily amount of protein, we can take this a step further by breaking this down into a per meal basis. It is recommended that 20 to 30 grams of protein or 0.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight of high quality protein be eaten at each meal to reap the metabolic benefits. To put this into practice, this might look like consuming four to six protein containing meals spread evenly throughout the day, starting at breakfast with a snack or two and then some dinner. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational videos just like this one. All right, let's get back into it. So what do we mean by high quality protein? A high quality protein contains eight essential amino acids. In particular, it should contain the amino acid leucine, which plays a key role in the process of muscle protein synthesis. Foods like beef, poultry, eggs, dairy, fish, casein, whey protein isolate, dairy, did I say that already? These all contain good sources of leucine. So how exactly does this work? After we exercise, our body goes into a state of catabolism, a state where muscle begins to get broken down. Once we train and then consume protein, our bodies can then shift into a state of anabolism where muscle can be built. By eating and drinking high quality protein, soon after we train, our amino acid stores are able to be replenished from the protein containing foods that we've chosen to consume. It has been shown by Bowie and colleagues, and hopefully I said that right, <laughs> uh, that our bodies are best able to use this amino acid from protein within a one to two hour period. So what does the scientific literature say? In a review by Ivy and Schoenfeld in 2014, it was suggested that having protein close to exercise rather than delaying it leads to better resistance training adaptations. Prior to this, evidence in favor of the importance of protein timing was displayed in a study by Cribb et al. from 2006. Here, a whey protein isolate supplement was given to recreational male bodybuilders who underwent a 10-week resistance training protocol. The group who supplemented with protein immediately before and after training gained more muscle and strength. And they also lost more body fat compared to the group who had the protein supplement outside the window of five hours pre and post their workout. Similar to these findings, in another study by Burke et al. from 2009, untrained males were given a casein protein supplement in the morning, afternoon, and immediately before resistance training. The group who supplemented with protein around the training session had greater lean mass gains compared to the group who delayed the protein supplementation five hours after training over an eight week resistance training protocol. In contrast, there is evidence to support that consuming protein within a narrow anabolic window isn't essential for changes in muscle growth. In a review by Aragon and Schoenfeld in 2013, the authors claimed that the so-called anabolic window of opportunity is inconclusive after examining various studies on the hypertrophic benefits of protein timing and resistance training. There were, however, several limitations to these studies included in this review. Only acute data was presented, it lacked long-term randomized control trials, and the chronic trials failed to match protein intakes between groups. It was suggested that the anabolic window may actually extend much further than what we originally thought, four to six hours from the time one consumes a meal before training. This hypothesis, however, needs further review and more research assessing protein timing across a variety of populations untrained and trained and young and elderly participants is needed. Further, it seems that the total amount of protein consumed on a per day basis is the most important factor for improvements in muscle growth and strength. So what are my main takeaways? 
First, prioritize your daily protein intake to an amount of 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Aim to eat between 20 and 30 grams of high quality protein at each meal. It isn't the end of the world if you don't consume protein immediately before or after your workout, as the so-called anabolic window may extend much further than we originally thought. However, if and when possible, time your protein around your training sessions within one to three hours before or after. There you have it folks, if building muscle, getting stronger and improving your body composition are important to you, then adhering to these recommendations on protein intake and timing will help you set up to successfully achieve your fitness goals. Thanks so much for watching everyone and please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you're a new viewer, feel free to take a look in the description below for more information about one-on-one -on -one coaching, upcoming challenges, speaking events and all my other products and services. I'll see you in my next video.